and this episode we'll be discussing what Instagram is, how to open an Instagram account, run it, grow it, why Instagram is important and a little bit of extras to make your experience using Instagram very very profitable. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I'm a Nigerian content creator based in London. I make videos on fashion and lifestyle, travel, food, etc. Instagram, if you don't know what it is, is a free photo and video sharing app available on mobile stores for iOS, Google Play, Windows phones. It's the platform where people share pictures and videos with people who are following them, who are usually a select group of friends or people who just admire you following your Instagram account. If you have an online presence or for your business or even for yourself, a personal brand, Instagram is one of the amazing ways to share what you do with other people. Instagram is actually a very, very good space on the internet to make money as well. It kind of helps you market in a less expensive wave i'll say there are obviously people who charge so much to make other people's brands known you still have to pay for ads and stuff but the amount of reach you get from instagram is something you cannot quantify you can't compare it to like tv because most tv stations show just in a particular region instagram is just a, a very lovely 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 way to present yourself a lot of people have access to your page for absolutely free Getting an Instagram account is so, so easy. You, all you need is either a phone number or an email. You can get, you can even use the same phone number to have two or three accounts at the same time. So just get your email, go on the Instagram app, click sign up, and then put your phone number or email, and it will let you in, basically. You then choose your handle, and then, yeah, the, the list goes on. But getting an Instagram account is the easiest thing. For something like YouTube, you need to have a Gmail account. With Instagram, any email, any phone number that works, that is valid, is good enough for your Instagram account to be created. Next thing, obviously, is deciding what your account is going to be. As I said, you can use it for a personal page, you can use it for a brand. Brands doesn't have to be a product. A brand can be a service, a brand can be humor, a brand can be anything that people would ordinarily pay for. But yeah, just something that gives something to people. People actually consume a lot of humor. There are a lot of people that have humor pages actually do well because the world is sad. A lot of annoying things happen. So sometimes some people just want to go on social media, go on Instagram just to calm down, just to laugh, just to take away, you know, their stresses. So your product or your service or your brand, your personal brand can be any and everything. Deciding what your page is going to be for is very important because that also controls what you're going to call your Instagram name and the post you're going to be posting, people you're going to be following and what people expect from you. So it's really, really important to decide what your page is going to be for. And I'm, I'm sounding all serious and stuff, but your page can be simply just you having a presence on Instagram just so that you can see other things that are happening. You mustn't always be on Instagram to create content. You can just be there to watch other people, which so many people do. The who to follow is totally dependent on yourself and what your brand is for and what you want to see on your timeline. There are some words I'm going to define now just so you understand while I'm talking about Instagram. My timeline is made up of pictures and videos of the people you are following so your timeline you kind of control your timeline you control what you want to see if something feels negative to you you can unfollow the person and that means taking the person out of your timeline so timeline is basically everyone you follow who when you scroll up you see their pictures you see their videos you see their content they kind of also have access to you because they can send you direct messages without it hanging somewhere when someone is not following you I send you a direct message it kind of hangs as a request and you decide if you want to read it you decide if you want to block them you decide anything but your timeline is kind of people that give access to you actually but you following them gives them access to maybe your back page not your back page access to your direct messages and stuff so deciding who you're going to follow it's very very crucial because you might not know it but looking at certain pictures every day adds to your mental health situation so if you're someone who is not in control of things or just in fact everyone needs to just be positive so if you have anything negative on your timeline unfollow so deciding who you're following as i said is really really important so that's about it on having instagram you know what instagram is now you know how important instagram is and you know obviously you should decide what you want to put on your instagram page so next thing we go is your instagram name your instagram name as i mentioned should always correlate with what you want to be posting on instagram or what the brand is for it's always lovely when someone sees a name of a brand and they kind of have an idea what it does or when someone even searches for something you know they kind of have an idea once they see your name it kind of relates to what you're doing if it's a brand page Everybody, even if a, a personal page is also a brand page yeah you decide that and then check if it's available 
and put it i always suggest people um, just use names that don't have underscore or unnecessary underscores everywhere because it kind of just makes it long just try your best to be creative with your name to find a name two words three words whatever that just join together with no spacing no underscores no nothing it just makes your page look nicer in my eyes then again underscores work dots we can put dots between two words it works just like the email it works personally speaking i would say just put a name with one word two words three words even four words but just a straight name that someone can easily pronounce so when you choose your name you now go into your bio your bio should tell people what you do if your name is not telling them so when you get your bio you can just if it's your personal so some people just like to talk about the achievements you can talk about maybe your career who you are your your, your your status in the society are you a wife a mom some people really like to highlight the fact that mom of three kids and then you see the page you see you know just to see how impressive people can really be mom of three kids meanwhile she's consistent on instagram she's she's looking fly every time so yeah just whatever it is you want make sure you put it in your bio and um, just be clear and concise because your bio and your Instagram page generally is like your CV in this industry you are dealing in. So just try and make it very, very cute and concise, precise. If there's extra handles or extra pages you want to call people to link your Instagram, which you can put it in your bio. Now Instagram allows us to put hashtags and Instagram names on the bio where people can just click and go straight. If you have a website, your bio is where it should totally be. When people search for, let's say people are searching for Nigerian Taylor on Instagram, if you have that on your bio, it's going to come out. It must not have put it on the hashtag somewhere. So if it's on your bio, it will come out and then people would find you. So your bio is so, so crucial. Even for people who are just searching for things and just want to know what you're doing without looking at your feed, your bio, man, your bio is so, <laughs> it's really just like a YouTube video's title. Like, it should be there. So I'm sure so a lot of you have Instagram accounts already. Some of you might be experiencing slow growth. You don't even understand Instagram's algorithm, which always changes. It's crazy how that thing changes and it's good for you to always be aware of what instagram is looking at here and there this period that period is always good to be aware i'll put links of places where you can always check for what's happening with instagram algorithm um, down in the description box so make sure you go there so the first thing i'll say for growing your account is taking quality pictures quality pictures doesn't mean you have to go and get a professional photographer at all it doesn't mean just have a phone that can take a good picture at least a good picture the next thing you consider is your lighting natural lighting guys is the best see as i'm filming this now i'm using a little light let me show you the difference between this light and no light so this is the light this is no light so you can see is this the same camera we're using but just because of the fact that we have lighting i'm actually looking better so sometimes it's just the little things if i had a window i could have faced the window and it's not the drab winter you know i can feel happily with the natural light hitting me so your light should always be in front of you when you're taking a picture of yourself or a product or when you go into someone's pictures on instagram and you see pictures like this more you see the one like this more you, you get like it's just disgusting so make sure you work on good pictures on your instagram don't kill yourself with the gadgets the camera whatever just try and edit your pictures nicely and they'll come out well for editing i'm going to put three apps that you can get for free snapseed is number one snapseed is free all through and you can use it to do so many good things but vsco has the premium version but even the part that is free has a lot of beautiful filters not the instagram type of filters really beautiful filters you can use lightroom to a very large extent is free there's a premium version of it but lightroom is a, is an app by adobe they have a lot of apps but lightroom is a very very nice one you can even buy some presets i'm going to be selling my presets really soon presets are things you can just slap on the picture and it changes the way it looks that would be something else i need to work on it quickly really so that it can be available to people because i think i would make it really 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 affordable compared to how other presets are being sold but before you even go into that just get your vsco snapseed and lightroom if i get these apps because one of my videos is going to be how to edit your picture just get these apps now and start getting used to them so when i do that video you will be able to get get a hang of things quickly next thing is your feed your feed is a collection of your own pictures your timeline is the people you are following the people you see every day your feed is a collection of your pictures on Instagram, the feeds are shown in threes. This is a feed. So you can see the pictures one, one, two, three. Like they're shown in threes. So your feed looking nice is really, really important for how people perceive your Instagram account once they go in. See, if someone is just searching for me, just go in here, just look at these. Her pictures are clear. They are, oh, she's really colorful. There's a lot of color here, you know. It will already give them, okay, an idea of, or a perception 
to the kind of person you are if you have pictures that are just dark like when i put up this light and you just like this person is not even really serious about this business you know what's the point coming on to instagram if you're not serious about yourself just don't hide it somewhere else let's not come and embarrass the business on instagram when you post a picture on instagram you can write things on that picture that's the caption sometimes your caption just for that explains what the picture is saying but the picture is the most important thing because that's what people see and if they want to know more about it they go into your caption to read and then after you're writing your caption you use some hashtags hashtags obviously the asterisks you know what hashtag is hashtags are used to kind of label your picture so when people go on instagram within that hour or whatever to search that hashtag that you have your picture will come out so it's kind of a way to label pictures or to even save pictures one other thing i do usually when i travel i have a hashtag for every time i travel it's because i'm metro gypsy on instagram so i use mg travel and i put the city name at the side you would rarely see people using it mg travel like what does mg travel mean you get so you use something that's peculiar to yourself so if i go now and search let's say mg travel morocco oh no i think i use mor so mg travel mor i'll find the pictures on my trip five years ago three years ago as long as i had a hashtag this you get so that's also something you can always give to brands like some content creators or some influencers when they um, subscribe when they suggest a product to you and you buy it they always tell you can you use this hashtag maybe mg made me buy it something like that so when they go to clients the next time to ask for jobs you know the clients they, they can show the client the hashtag of people who use the products people who i made buy it you know it's that kind of your strength so hashtags again as i said is the way people can search for you like if i put a picture and put london fashion vlogger people that are looking for london fashion vloggers will just click the hashtag and they can see my pictures and stuff like that people even follow hashtags right now so instagram has given us you know opportunities to follow hashtags so people can always see you so don't over forget your cap your good picture caption is not even that important if you want to put a capture you can put it and your hashtags do not ever forget quality pictures and your hashtags so the next thing is communication some all of you just sit down there you post a picture and you start crying that no, instagram is not showing your picture to other people people are not following people are not liking you how many people's pictures have you liked and dropped a sensible comment on not just putting one smiley fine it's not even put a smiley so they will even see your name that you came to show them support but you cannot not be communicating with other people and expect your instagram account to grow communicating with other people doesn't have actually mean always com commenting on the picture they post you can actually go to their comments and comment on the comments that you maybe you find funny or you found interesting you know just make yourself available put yourself out there let your handle be all around showing love and then making sense not going and saying negative things you know some people have accounts where there's no face they're just out there to make people bring people down make people feel bad probably people you even know who just want to insult you because obviously social media is social media it's not the most safe or secure place so you should also prepare your mind that people are going to be negative out there but you cannot focus on that that's not the reason you are there so as i said go and be communicating with other people show support other people make yourself visible so people see you and then when they go to, into your profile to see how your page looks they see beautiful pictures with lovely hashtags with everything in life you have to be consistent you can't just post once a week and think things will happen your instagram will grow it wouldn't grow as fast as it will grow if you post more often posting pictures nice pictures more often makes people at least look forward to you appreciates you and then even see like for some reason some people just think oh this person is actually a hard worker when you're posting often posting nice pictures often inspiring people often that's a very very good sign this influencers page you click her dp here this is stories just stories are just extra things you would want to say about yourself oh gosh this is actually really pretty so let's show her some love so this is a lovely picture so i've just clicked the hat smiley to just show her that this is pretty let's click this one again so yeah you can easily communicate on stories as well and then people can share you can even share your post already that you have let's just say this post now this is my own post i can share it on my stories see add post to story and it's here and people are seeing it as well so when you post a picture on your feed i think oh people didn't see it because the way instagram shows people pictures is tough so you can just post it on your stories as well so stories is another way to communicate with people and then to also share your stuff that you think people not enough people have seen you can also say things like say stories on your stories it's just a behind the scenes kind of like way to say more things without putting it on your feed so captions as i said are not as 
important but yeah it's always good to have captions there's a point on instagram people used to think other people didn't read captions but that's such a myth people actually read your captions and it's just a nicer way to explain the reason you're putting a picture or just talk about the mood this society the situation like right now a lot of people's captions are stay safe covid you know stay at home you know things like that just be positive keep going we will, we will end soon and thank you to nhs you know just different kind of things can always be on your caption it doesn't have to be related to your picture that like you see there's this joke of small girl be god where girls will carry designer bags and then they're having like quotes of how god bless them and things like that is is a joke thing but yeah that's what caption is all about extra things i'll say are your the look of your feed as i said your feed is your collection of your own pictures people have different kinds of aesthetics there are some people that the only pictures they post are pictures they take in a white background or some people that all their pictures are filtered with a certain preset so it has a certain either a warm look or a very strong look a very colorful look i will put um, maybe three examples of people's feeds on the description box so you see just the way a feed actually comes across when someone works on them so some people even put just a picture a quote a picture a picture a picture a quote a, you know some people do like a checkerboard style for their feed a feed is just a way to express your creativity if you have the energy the next thing is post notifications um instagram these days as i said they don't show you every single post that of people you even follow it's so tiring so put in clicking the post notification i type follow someone you follow an account then just click the drop down triangle thing you see post notification for posts for stories you can always just put the post one as yes or just put post so anytime the person posts it notifies you notifications from your settings you can always go to your settings and remove the sound so it doesn't disturb you so it's just a banner that comes that really helps instagram show you some people's pictures because the way instagram is rolling these days they hide things from everyone they, they think they know what's important to you the people you communicate with more people you comment on more they tend to show you those people's pictures more so yeah that's why another good thing is to even be communicating up and down the whole place dropping comments showing love everywhere then going live is another thing instagram says is good for your feed your account just going live on instagram right now that we're on lockdown a lot of people are going live a lot of people have having meetings featuring other people i kind of instagram is going like me i don't really like to go live to be honest so i just find it long so what i do is when i travel usually i could just go to somewhere really interesting and then go live on it so yeah going live is actually something that helps your instagram highlights highlights is um okay your stories i forgot to mention that your stories actually last for just 24 hours just like your instagram just like your facebook stories are not something that are always there so if you want your stories to last longer on your feed you create highlights so highlights are just different um like headings for the kind of stories you have let me show you okay so if you see my page now these round circles these are all my highlights for me i have a lot of highlights <laughs> i have my youtube anytime i post my youtube videos and share it here i probably i have highlights for like lovely london places let's just click that one so this is london yeah i just have different things when i go to, oh dear oh lavender fields throwback so when i go to places in london that's so pretty i just put the pictures i have so many highlights when i travel i have highlights for countries highlights for cities a lot of highlights and then you can always put different covers for your highlights i just like to put the dp cover for my highlight cover as well you just share the picture add it to your highlights and it goes into your archives so your highlights you can always add it and make it the cover some people are really really creative with their own highlights the instagram account i'm going to put for you to look at their feed also look at the highlights because people put effort so, so for some to put efforts in their feed they definitely put efforts in their highlights then the last thing i'll say is expressing yourself authentically with everything in life copying people trying to be like other people people can inspire you but you should always be yourself every other person is taking you and not taking even if you want to get different ideas from different people just mix it and make it yours there's nothing like coming out authentically sometimes you see a post on, on instagram you haven't even seen the person that posted it. you already know who posted it because they already have them like they already associated that kind of post or that kind of texture or that kind of whatever to them instagram is a voice as um, amongst every other thing instagram is your voice on social media on instagram so yeah don't get so carried away with the amount of followers just grow your instagram page naturally be authentic so that's about it guys i really hope this video is going to mean a lot to your instagram growth and health feel free to always send me a direct message on instagram you can drop a comment here but any questions you have about growing your instagram just any ideas you have 
feel free to share with me don't kill yourself on being creative just make sure you focus on the reason you are there and then you definitely grow you definitely grow show love to people and then just keep working hard being consistent thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed yet please click the subscribe button on youtube now when you click the subscribe button that doesn't mean youtube is going to send you my videos every time so you also have to click that bell right beside it when you click my name click the subscribe click the bell say all post notifications and yeah if you don't have energy to do that you just don't feel like subscribing and joining my family leave your thumb up button in this video guys whenever you click my videos just click the thumb up button and then that's fine you can watch and be going and then and yeah if you have any other things to say drop a comment because i really love to read from you thank you so much for watching this video see you on the next episode and good luck with your instagram Bye bye